Hello, everybody. I never know how to fucking start any of these, but... <laughs> I just, like, I... It's late. I hate the sound of my own voice right now. I haven't heard it in a while. And so, But fuck it, right? I'm just gonna... Stream of consciousness here. I'm probably gonna make a speed draw or a speed paint or something to go with this. You might see me struggle a lot to uh, make it just right because I'm such an asshole <laughs> about um, my own drawings. But you know what? It's okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it because I have a lot on my mind and I need to get it out there before I go to bed. So to I don't know where to start, but I I kind of realized like five minutes ago that I've accomplished a lot in 2020, art-wise. Despite it being like a really, really shitty year for everybody, including myself, I still managed to, uh, to crank out an animation for Seth Everman. I managed to make another game for animated. I managed to animate something for Corp's husband. It's... I feel like I've accomplished more this year than last year, looking in hindsight, but um, I still can't help but feel like I haven't accomplished anything, like I'm getting worse. You know? Like that feeling when you haven't done something in a while, or over an extended period of time, and you and you worry that you're gonna forget how to do it if you spend too much time away from it. That's how I feel on a regular basis. And, you know, it's just me just being down on myself for no good reason, you know? Because, uh, I compare myself to artists all the time. And I'm sure this is a regular thing that artists go through and stuff. But mine is just so much worse, am I right? Fucking whatever. <laughs> it's not. But it, it still hurts to look at my own art. And especially since I've attempted to draw more in my sketchbook this year, I can't help but feel like, oh no, my art quality is getting a lot worse. Meanwhile, um, there are so many artists out there with beautiful looking Instagrams. So many animators that are just like making fucking Ghibli movies worth of um, animations and they're doing great. And even I was looking at art improvement videos from from a lot of people and they look like fucking that like a, a shitty crayon drawing from when they were 10 to oh look I'm 17 and I drew the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I'm just like fuck you right? But um you know I compare myself a lot and it's not good and I need to stop doing it and I'm fully aware of this but I cannot stop doing it because there is some part of my brain that thinks hey um, this will push you to do better why don't you go ahead and stew on this for a long time and maybe you'll get out of this fucking pity party and you know make something make something better but um, that's rarely been the case, especially lately. Um, and on top of that, I've been going through a pretty bad depressive episode since after my birthday last week. Um, I had a very good birthday, don't get me wrong. Like, I got to visit my mom's side of the family, and it was all well and good. But, um, when I got back, for some reason, my brain just decided to fuck with me. <laughs> and... Now, it's not only got depression involved, but it's also got nihilism, or nihilism, however the fuck it's pronounced, involved at the same time. Which, if you saw my little Instagram video about it, or, or my TikTok about it, whatever you saw first, that you know, like, it's an issue. And just thinking, the thought of, like, what's the point in anything I'm doing? What's the point in making these this art and these animations for people. And I was able to kind of work myself through that, at least, because um, a lot of people have told me, I hate 
sounding like I said, I feel like I sound like an asshole when I say this. Like I'm humble bragging, but I'm not. But a lot of people have told me that um, they're that what I do inspires them in some way, and that they like my humor and my personality. And I'm like, oh geez, how could you? And I just can't think of a way to say thank you without feeling like I'm an asshole. But I, I digress. Um, I don't know where I was going with it, but generally I feel like I'm going backwards. Even though I've accomplished three animations within the span of this year, um, I still feel like it's not good enough. I just have this gut feeling that, you know, I'm losing my quote-unquote talent. I'm going backwards. And especially when I look back at my old animations, like the bedroom business animation was really good and I'm really proud of that. And I'm like, God, I wish I could animate like that again. Or I need to animate even better than that. But I didn't with the with the Pantsu Hunter animation. I was just lazy and I didn't do it. But the reason why it, it took me so long to to work on the bedroom business animation like I did was because it took me five months because of my depression. And even looking back at my Obama animation, my very first animation, quote unquote animation, I mean, they're just a couple of pictures, but like I managed to draw like a, like an anime kind of real, semi-realistic rendition of Obama and Michelle Obama and their kids. And like, I, I look at that now and I'm like, man, like I could never do that today. No way. Like I don't have it in me to when I was fully capable of doing that three years ago. And I don't, know, I don't know if it's just my brain playing tricks on me, but you know, it feels like everything's going backwards. I made a pretty good painting of Cindy Kimberly, right? A, like a while back. And then sometime later, I drew another uh, photo I saw, I painted another photo I saw on Pinterest and I felt like it got worse <laughs> for some reason. Um, and I just can't, I feel like I can't bring myself to, to practice. Like, I'm so jealous of artists who can make themselves draw every single day and just churn out fucking Mona Lisa's all over the place. Um, I'm really jealous of that. And meanwhile, <laughs> today I finally took a shower after a whole week of not doing it and desperately trying to convince myself to, but not being able to. So I'm sitting over here like, I can't even take a goddamn shower <laughs> while these guys are over here churning out these masterpieces every day. I know that's not entirely true, but I, I know I'm being too hard on myself. But, like, even... I have a whole watch list of videos telling me not to compare myself to others, not just in art, but in life. And... I even saw this video from Adam Duff, I think is his name, about um, advice for artists who are too hard on themselves. And it just, it just like begging me, like, please don't be so hard on yourself. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're making a masterpiece right now. I can't do that. What do you mean don't be too hard on myself? <laughs> I can't do that. But it's this coupled with um, some thinking about my lack of progress lately. And I say lack of progress, even though I literally just said I made three animations this year, but it's not good enough for me, so. I, um, I'm 26 now. I live with my dad. I don't have a full-time job. I don't even have a part-time job right now. Um, because, like, I can't fucking handle full-time work right now. I've tried, and I can't do it yet. Um, and meanwhile, <laughs> I'm friends with, with people who are still in their early 20s and are in the animation industry already, or they went to art school focusing on animation, or, you know, um, just, like, churning out these, these beautiful, this beautiful artwork that, like, I don't know how to do. Like, I could try, but it would probably look like shit. I'm just, I mean, I don't know that for sure, I'm just saying that. But, 
Like, I get jealous so easily, and I can't just be proud of my friends or proud of other people for what they make. I have to compare it to myself, and I have to sit in that jealousy because I feel like I failed. I feel like I had these lofty dreams starting in high school of being an animator for a big studio. Not necessarily big, but just any studio. And it shifted over to, you know what, I want to be a storyboard artist, so that's what I'm going to pursue while I'm in college, even though I'm studying fucking graphic design. And, uh, it shifted back to animation again, and then shifted to storyboarding again. And this time around, I never brought myself to practice any storyboarding at all, because it has been way too intimidating, and I take surprisingly long on it, because I'm a perfectionist. So that lack of practice and the lack of anything to show in my portfolio is is there is no there is no storyboarding section on my portfolio website so i've basically given up on that idea of being a storyboard artist what about being an animator well i keep i keep saying telling myself in my head i've made three fucking animations this year shut up but you know um I still can't help but think, like, looking at these, these animations of, um, just, that are so fluid, that are made by one person, not by a team of people, that would be, that would be something that, that I could, that my brain could take. No, these animations are made by one person, they're so fluid, they practice every day, and... You know, they might be going through some hardships in their life, I don't know. But my brain doesn't think that matters, no. What matters is they're ahead of me. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I have this huge complex about my age. Like, no one younger than me is allowed to be <laughs> better than me at things, you know? Um, because that means I've failed as an adult. Um, but, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to deal with the fact that I'm not in that future that my younger self wanted to be in. And I don't know if I'll ever be in that future anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I had these lofty goals. I had this picture in my head of where I wanted to be. But now, I just don't know anymore. I'm just trying to get through the day. And there's still a part of me that still wants to make art for myself. But lately it's been like, I'm making art for other people. I'm doing commissions so I can make more money. Um, I'm making animations for other people. I, even if I'm drawing something because I want to, I'm still worried about likes and follows and shit like that. And Everyone always says, don't focus on the numbers, don't focus on the numbers, but goddammit, I can't help it, I'm an artist, okay? <laughs> like, like, social media growth is crucial to growing your career as an artist or as an animator or whatever nowadays. And so I can't help but focus on that. And I hate that popularity is one of my values in life. I hate admitting that. It's been a value of mine ever since I was a kid. I wanted to be popular. I wanted to be well-liked. Um, but that has gotten in the way of so fucking much. Like, like if this photo doesn't get a thousand likes on Instagram, then it's bad. Then it's a failure. And like, even looking at- scrolling through my Instagram feed, now when my brain's kind of fucked up, I'm looking at it like, wow, like, this could use a lot of work. This could have been so much better, but it's not. And, you know, I hate that feeling. I'm sorry I'm smacking my hand. Like, I'm using hand gestures as I'm talking. It's really dumb. But, you know, dealing with things has been hard lately, to put it mildly. And I feel like after this explosive growth, or this explosive activity, when around around December 2019 hit, um, I felt like I was doing so well. I felt like I was on top of my shit. But then the the year goes by, and shit happens around the world. 
that I cannot mentally handle. That'll make me want to give up everything and kill myself. Let alone... And I can't, like, do anything. Let alone draw for myself. And I just keep slipping and slipping. Until right now, I have had to... I feel like a failure. because, Especially because today I had to let a client I was working with know that I'm depressed right now. And I don't know how much I'm capable of. And he, he has a deadline. And deadlines are important. But, like, I don't... I don't know, I just feel like a failure for, like, admitting defeat and being like, Hey, I don't want to slow you guys down anymore. Um, I can still try and grind on it this week if you want, but if you want to give the shot to somebody else, then that's totally fine with me. I hate it, you know? But, you know, I know that this isn't the end of my art quote-unquote career at all. Maybe... In maybe next year, I'll come to some kind of breakthrough where my art suddenly improves or I suddenly know what I want to do as a career. Maybe that'll come in two years, five years, ten years. I don't know anymore, but uh, it's really complicated to, to sift through all this brain fog and try to figure it all out. Um, so... Yeah, that's a lot of why I haven't been as active lately. Um, so I'm really sorry for all the rambling, but I'm just word vomiting out there. Just so I can sleep with some peace of mind tonight, knowing I let everything out. And hopefully some of you guys can relate to this. This will probably be about where the speed paint ends. Hopefully I made something good. Um, what? Well, at least something that I think looks good. Um, but, you know, that's it. <laughs> I don't know how to end these, but, uh, you know, thanks for putting up with my shit. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, I guess.